Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this game of Crusader Kings 3. This is now including the 1.2 Argent update, and it's come with quite a few things, including the headline feature, which is the Ruler Designer. So the Ruler Designer was definitely one of the most popular things for Crusader Kings 2. Huzzah! And it has now made it into Crusader Kings 3. There have also been a bunch of revisions to... Um, lots of things. You can now, for example, attach armies to other armies. But the big one for me is they have, finally, um, kind of given further another look over. And they have radically tweaked how Great Wars and Holy Wars um, accrue or remove further. So first of all, if you lose a Holy War, no further loss. That used to be a big source of losing fervor. Secondly, you can only have a great holy war every 30 years. So no more just spamming crusades from the Catholics. Inevitably losing each one and then losing a bunch of fervor. And then they've also tweaked how much fervor you lose for winning a holy war. Um, so it used to be just a flat amount, which I think was like 10 fervor for every one holy war. Not anymore. It's one fervor for every county holy war. Well, I think it's three fervor maybe five i don't actually remember the exact numbers it's more fervor for a ducal holy war and then even more for a kingdom level holy war um bearing in mind these are for the gold so if, if it's a kingdom versus a kingdom fighting over a county that still counts as a county um so yeah big changes to how fervor have been implemented i'm just trying to find the list right now where's ck crusader king so it is Just so I can have them up for reference in the future. So yeah, loads of changes. Oh, there it is. Uh, minor Holy War, that's the county one, is one further. Ducals are two, and then Kingdoms are five. Awesome. The other thing, which I've been thinking about quite a lot, is how to make this more suitable for YouTube. The problem with YouTube at the moment is any longer series is basically not worth doing because you will have this massive drop up off, drop off in followers. Now, I really, 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 really like the kind of gameplay which is, one, goal-orientated, and two, kind of along a similar ethos to March of the Vikings. And I feel like I could probably have done better on YouTube with March of the Vikings. In fact, the series would probably still be running there had I broken it up into mini-series. So what I think I'm going to start doing from now on is coming up with a fairly early goal for a run. We'll go up to that goal, and this really only counts for the YouTube viewers. Then I will cut that off and start a new series in the same world as effectively a continuation from that new point. So, for example... Once we made it to Iberia, that would have been a cutoff, and we would start a new Iberia run. Yeah, then when we got to Africa, that's another cutoff. We would then do the Africa run. So it's the same game for all intents and purposes. For Twitch, nothing changes for you. But on YouTube, it's, it's these new mini-series, which hopefully don't get completely eradicated by the YouTube algorithm and actually has a chance to grow. And that brings me to what I want to do this time. I... I have a couple of ideas, and my main idea is really going to depend on how the ruler creator works. So let's go and take a look, because this there, there is one thing which I have to be able to do for this idea to work. And yes, we are going to be potentially starting down here in Africa, because I actually quite enjoyed playing down here. And then we're going to create our own ruler. Now, here we go. Faith. Is it possible to start out as reformed Norse? No. Bollocks. <sighs> because it would be impossible to reform Osatru from down here. And I don't think that starting as a Viking in Africa would be feasible without having a reformed religion. Mm-hmm. Okay, second question. Can I do this through console commands? CK3, console commands. Reform. Hmm. 
why do I need to be reformed? Because the holy sites don't change, and to reform the faith in Africa, I still need to control Copenhagen, Trondelag, uh, Paderborn, Zeeland, or Stockholm. <laughs> Which is basically impossible when you're in Africa. And I'm definitely not trusting the AI to do it. Um, right. I'm not seeing an easy way of doing this. Hang on, religion. Oh no, it's called faith, isn't it? In this. Add doctrines. Uh, it's not doctrines I want to do, though. Change further. That's not it. Remove doctrines. That's not it. Set faith. Changes faith to faith ID. The faith needs to actually exist to do that. Damn. I was really hoping that would be possible. Reform local religion with same as also through tenets. I still want to have that Norse connection because one of the goals could be to return to Scandinavia. African Scandinavian Empire just to reform. I mean, that's basically what we did. Except I think we were the Frisian Empire at that point. Huzzah! Poet to the rescue, you have thought of a way. Please do go on. And Evil Uncle Ralph, thank you very much for the three-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Very much appreciate the ongoing support there. Little Tomton coming in with a ten-month Prime resub as well. Thank you very much for the ongoing support. And then Duke Silverose with a 33-month resub. Thank you very, very much for that, Silverose. Really do appreciate all of the uh, subscriptions and resubs and everything like that coming in. You guys are awesome. And actually, while we're talking of subscriptions coming in, Type 2 Civilization, thank you very much for yours. Appreciate that too. You will notice that there is a funding goal up there above my head, and I'm going to need to reposition that once I actually know where I can put it. And that is for the Dungeons & Dragons campaign, which will be starting next Sunday, kicking off at 1 minute to midnight, Sunday night. Um, and it should be really cool. Now, the funding goal itself is because we want to pay our artists to actually create some character portraits so we can use those in the tokens all of the players have now i believe ordered uh, their artwork but um we still need to pay for it so if you are interested in helping us out in raising the money to pay our artists then please 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 do consider throwing in a donation i will also be including uh, bits in that i just have to manually update it after the fact so we got a couple of bits yesterday that has now been taken into account in that total and i'll be doing the same for the streams up until we get it, basically. So everything I'm earning is being poured into this new D&D campaign. And I got my uh, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything and also the Icewind Tale actual book today, so I can finally actually read about what I'm going to be running, which would be nice. Just wanted to point out, got your CK3 March of the Vikings vid shown in my YouTube feed very often without watching a single episode. I'm guessing that's a good thing, but I think that might also be because there's like a hundred and something episodes and the fact that you didn't watch a single episode kind of says the problem <laughs> uh marshall wants me to drink some tea okay i can do that console command transfer holy sites to yourself add a ton of piety through the console then reform the religion return the holy sites to the original owners uh can you do that i know you can give yourself the piety Turn a piety through the console and reform the religion and return the holy sites to the original owners. I'm trying to think how you'd do it to the original owners. Or I guess... If it's owned by somebody else... Like Stockholm, I'm not sure I'll be able to do because it's a capital. Well, I don't necessarily need Stockholm. Same with Trondelag, that's a capital because it's a uh, one county minor. In which case it would just be a wanderer, but that person needs to be in my court to give them the land, doesn't it? Well, I can just give the land away and then let them have independence. That's also feasible. Problem is, there are only so many long-running series you can follow at the same time. For me, that's two. Yeah, that is the problem. <laughs> Just 
make sure you know the character IDs. Okay, that's something we will need to do. All right, so first thing we need to do is make ourselves also true. And also culturally... Did I actually click on click on the county that we want? I did. So where do we want to start would be the next thing. So actually one of the other changes in this is they have switched where the gold mines are. The gold mines are now county capitals rather than just a random barony, which means that all of these tribes can actually start developing their gold mines. So this region can start to become very, very wealthy a lot earlier than it did in my game, where it basically required a player to develop because this stuff just doesn't become feudal. Um, now it's in the county capitals rather than random baronies, so the, the tribes will start upgrading those. I think a better solution would have been to start them with gold mine. Already developed, but eh. Um, Jolof is fairly big. I'd actually kind of like to start as a single county. So maybe starting down here would be better for that. Can I see the different religion, religions? So Rugan is there, Sigwick is there, Akom's there, then Orizen is down there. I like how this one guy is Sigwick as well. It's like, I'm different! Oh, these are independent realms. Oh, right, yeah, but they do have their, their ducal level titles. I want a county. I want to be... Well, should we start as a duker account? I have a feeling being completely different religion in this era... In this era, um, area is going to be a problem. Oh! One other thing they've changed is... And this was a very, very weird update note. Naval raiders can now raid along major rivers. What the hell does that mean? I'd like a little bit more, you know, description of what naval raiders can now raid along major rivers mean. Does that mean you automatically raid if you're adjacent to provinces and you're on your boats? Does that mean you can embark and disembark more quickly? Because the old problem was re-embarking takes a freaking month. What does that mean? What's this changed? Boats go brrr down rivers. I mean, they already did. That's actually one of the interesting things about this area is we're in an area which also has war canoes. So they can raid down the uh, Niger. Uh, Schwimmer, thank you very much for the bits. Really do appreciate that, Schwimmer. Thank you so, so much. Uh, for the D&D art. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we do have a hype train going. We are at level 2, 20% of the way through level 2, on the way to level 3. So thank you guys for getting that going. Sounds like as you walk around the rivers, you disembark and you no longer take attrition for walking down the river. Uh, possibly. Oh yeah, if that's fixed some of the attrition stuff, that would be nice. The devil is in the details, and so are the Vikings, it would seem. Yes. Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. We definitely want to be coastal. I'm wondering if we want to start as, like, Saloom. So we do have the more powerful Jolof north of us, but with some potential expansion down here. plus. I was like, I'm sure there used to be a plus down here, but they've just moved it. So here you can see the individual counties. If we wanted to be a count under somebody else, but I think that's basically a no-go. We would need to start out as independent. I think that... Well, we're Vikings. We like forests. Forests would also allow us to be a bit more defensive, like in Nalu. Ooh! Or we could start up here. So we would at least have a naval base in the Canaries. Kind of seems a bit too secure. We're playing as Vikings in Africa. We are literally on our own. So having that security would basically prevent us from having an insta... Um, 
Game over. Now, the other important question is, do any of these have cool names? That would be another thing. I mean, we could also be, like, at the mouth of the Niger down here. Be in Benin. Or Igbo. I kind of like that idea as well. Hey, so we did hit level two. No, level one. We finished off level one. We were 20% of the way to level two. Oh, I see how that works now. Is Ibibo a single province? No, it's two. Oh, sorry, Ibibo is yes. But I'm kind of tempted to go as either of these. You're actually a count. You're a ducal title at the start, Benin is. But Igbo isn't. I think I might choose Igbo. Because they've got a territory right on the uh, the coast here. So Izor would be technically our capital. We're going to go as these guys. Decided. We're going to be on the uh, the mouth of the Niger. Really, really far away from basically anything. This also puts us a little bit closer to going towards Ethiopia if we chose to do that. Also puts us a bit further away from the gold mines, which frankly I think is a good thing because it would be super tempting to just race for the gold mines, take all the gold mines, and then just snowball. Huzzah! So, yeah, we're going to start down here. We're going to create our own ruler. We are going to be Orsatru. We are going to be culturally Norse. And we are, of course, going to be Modred. Of the Viking dynasty. And you can also choose Different options for your crest now. <laughs> uh, Sancho Panzo, thank you very much for the donation there towards the D&D character up. Very much appreciate the support. Um, so that is now, I believe, one character funded. We still need to get another four. So thank you very, very much for that. That is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to show off all of the information about it. And in fact, we have already started to share some of the information about the characters over on Discord. So if you head over to our Discord, if someone could link that, that would be awesome. In the digital... No, it's in the announcements, but we're talking about it in the Digital Dragons channel. Um, so we introduced our first character, uh, Hotaru. Uh, sorry, not first character. First player, Hotaru, and her character, Elora, uh, who is a half-elf. I'm leaving the class mysterious for now. And then we'll have a similar character profile for each of the uh, characters, basically one a day until Sunday. Borisend, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. And Pisk, thank you very much for the month, uh, two month resub on Prime. Very much appreciate that too. Okay, um, I kind of like that. I actually kind of prefer the single color because then you get all the more interesting cadet houses. She had a little bit more control over this. Because if you accidentally skip the one you like, that's kind of interesting. You know what? I, I want the boat. I want the boat in a single background. Like the boat on a blue background would be awesome. Unless something else jumps out at me going, I'm awesome. Could do Yggdrasil. I think I may have used that in the past. Or Raven. Raven would work too. Okay, the boat comes up way too infrequently. Click the crest. Doesn't do anything. There is no crest designer in this. They mentioned that in the uh, overview. For the ruler designer. You can't make your own crests. They couldn't get a system that worked well enough in the time being, in, in the time they had allocated to this. So it might happen in the future. I feel 
like we're seeing some of these really frequently. Black Dragon would have been cool. That's a bit too English. There we go. That'll do. So, Chieftain of Igbo. Oh, you can change the title of Coat of Arms. Can I just have that? <laughs> Please. That's kind of cool. The knot on the yellow background. Yeah, that'll do. And then... Customizations. So let's drop you down to... Okay, maybe not a zero-year-old. Maybe make ourselves like an 18-year-old or something. Wait, we'll just say average for now. Alright, education. I'm pretty sure we want to be a fighter of some kind. Um, I don't really care about achievements, but I'm still going to stick to the limit. So we'll say 400 points total. Maybe a uh, skilled tactician. Probably not a brilliant strategist straight out of the box. We're going to start unmarried. Hopefully that doesn't completely kill us. Achievements not available. Why? Achievements are available in Iron Man when you have not used more than 400 points. So it's probably because I'm not an Iron Man right now. Personality. Okay, so we need our three traits. So the obvious one is brave. We have set out into the complete unknown to found our own system. Um, I personally just like just. Just is just useful. And maybe zealous? Or gregarious. Gregarious would help us survive in just this area. Or ambitious. I mean, we're taking on the whole of Africa. I would say we're pretty ambitious. So that's the three traits. Other traits. Alright, so... Of the other traits, I think, quite frankly, these should probably just appear over time. Unless we wanted to start with something like hail... Or quick. I don't think I do. I think we're just going to start as we are now. And we will see what traits emerge over time. That also gives me a few more uh, abilities to play with here. A Norse also true living in Africa. Not sure, it's just a personality that I would think of. What's pure blooded? Uh, I think it means inbred, basically. Not seeing it. But I'm also not really looking very hard. Oh, pure-blooded. Um, character is of a pure bloodline. Inbreeding chance minus 50%. Oh, it's... Um, it's one of the dynasty options. One of the high-level breeding ones, I think. Anyway, I think that we are going to have a good prowess. Probably going to have a relatively decent diplomacy. I'm going to increase my learning just so we can actually convert people.
Maybe I can actually be a brilliant strategist. There we go. That gets us to 370 points. Something like this. All right, appearance. We are going to be northern. We're going to be blonde, tending towards reddish. Kind of strawberry blonde, I guess. Eighteen, probably something like that. And the rest of this, kind of okay to just leave. Because I just don't care that much. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't think that this allows you to choose. Just because I'm kind of curious to see how the eye colour changes over time, as we'll be in Africa. Honestly, that looks fine to me. Curious to see what the other options are. Yeah, long flowing. Big bushy beard. <laughs> I'm glad that's an option. Go short goatee. Well, no, we'll go short full. Finish. Cool. Um, yeah, it kind of does look like trousers optional, <laughs> which is a little bit weird, but okay. I think short beard looks the most like actual Mordred. Yeah, I agree. I'll let the side bits grow out a bit since pandemic. <laughs> no goatee anymore. Okay, I like this.
Mordred Viking of House Viking of Clan Igbo. Oh, and the other thing which is nice that they've now turned into a player rule is the nudity stuff. It's no longer a gameplay rule, it's now a setting. Although apparently it still appears here. Then I th Oh, Diplomatic Range is the only other one that I want to change. Now, is this going to affect the console command stuff? Because it might. Can we have a big bushy beard emote? Uh, put it on emote suggestions. And also put a dwarf up there. I, I've realised we don't actually have a dwarf emote. I mean, the two could probably be interchangeable. A dwarf with a big bushy beard. Pretty sure it doesn't affect console. Okay, so I think I'm still going to restrict diplomatic range. Because that did make for a better spread of nations last time. And then, yeah. Done. We are in Igbo, so let's do a quick save. Why is my checksum modified? I'm not running any mods. Not that I really care, because that's for um, achievements, which I don't do. I don't even have my expanded options mod running because it hasn't been updated yet okay so first thing we need to do is reform the faith I think otherwise we just stand too big a chance to just get completely smashed this is going to screw with the mechanics up here a little so maybe we should set a year to do the reform This is a 1066 star. God damn it. I didn't even think that it wasn't... <sighs> Bollocks. Because <laughs> I look down here and basically nothing changes. 